hopefully this um the, the camera doesn't the camera doesn't um cut off because it gets too hot hopefully it won't what's up y'all it's me erica we're gonna talk about black china show i watched it today it's hot but i don't know how this is gonna work on this this um with the heat and shit um what's your favorite color starburst with Tokyo not Tokyo introducing China and all her um, friends and people who's basically gonna be on the show with her something fell out of my what fell Okay, my phone's right here. I don't know what fell. Anyway, so they start off introducing everybody. Treasure, Ashton, Jamal, and Preshi. A longtime friend, uh, assistant brother, assistant and like brother, play brother, manager and publicist. These are who she's with all the time, apparently. They start off at this med spa. She's getting both hot or getting some body modification. Um, she seems to be very um, uh, unapologetic about her surgeries or things that are, or things that she's gotten done, but she's um, very meticulous. It seems like based on this episode and then other not you know just other times she's been in interviews and such like that that she is very much into body modifications and has no issues with talking about it and I guess that's good because a lot of people if you don't I mean if you have it and you want to correct something that makes you feel better about yourself you know go ahead and do it um but she's talking about her mom and telling her 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 Ashton and Treasure telling them that she has invited her mother out and she sent for her mom and her mother's coming out and in her interview I just wrote down some things that China was saying which was like I, and and I just want to I don't know it's it, it's the things that she's saying is just a typical typical things that people say um, when it comes to their parents and the relationship they have with their parents um, I need my mom I don't have a choice it's my mom she has an entitled personality and her kids need their grandmother okay well I mean everybody yes they, people need their mother they their your children need their grandmother very, those are two very true statements but do they need that type of grandmother and that type do you need that type of mother you understand what I'm saying I know we don't get to choose our parents, but you have a choice on whether after you get out of the realm of their reach that you do have a decision or a choice on either, like she says, like stay and try and repair this relationship or just back all the way out of the relationship. Um, Treasure, Treasure says that she has no issues with Tokyo, um, but Tokyo has issues with her. And then Ashton also says that um, he has an opinion about how she goes about communicating with China via social media. Said they haven't talked in over a year, I guess that's what it said. Um, Treasure gets a phone call while they're in the med spa and her son is looks like he is in the school to prison pipeline type situation. 
he's 15 years old getting in trouble he's on probation for whatever reason and because he wasn't showing up to school and came to school with paraphernalia he violated his probation so now he's going to juvenile hall and I mean this is this is how they do our children you criminalize child behavior instead of instead of getting him help and finding out why he's doing these things you put him in jail and it just it just helps the the jail the, the prison industrial um, system it just helps that it doesn't do anything they're not gonna help that boy he's gonna probably go into you know just be criminalized and not be able to do anything and just keep going in and out of jail and that's that's the goal ultimately for little black boys in America um, so she said she was upset because she said she had just cussed him out via text whatever so they get to Tokyo and they start talking about I didn't know Tokyo was from was born in Dominican Republic I didn't know that she was Dominican I did not know that um, apparently she's 49 years old but I thought so I'm confused at what age does she have China so I'm, I'm assuming between 16 and 18 because some things are saying she's 47 and China's 31 somebody's not not being honest about their age and then she like I went online and said she was 47 then she says in her in you know in the scene I'm 49 I'm about to be 50 but then I thought China said her mother had her when she was you know a teenager so I don't know I don't know how that goes and apparently China left home at 16 years old so I'm trying to think if what kind of mom do you think you are where your child leave wants to get away and leave at 16 years old like what is that about so she said she wanted to take China to court so she can see her grandchildren sorry lady you have no unless something happens to her you have no rights over those kids period and that's it um, she has a book coming out I don't know who would be interested in buying a book China is not that big of a star to want to hear from her mother you know what I mean it's not like We don't want to hear from you I, I mean I'm just being honest nobody wants to hear what the fuck you have to say like I uh, who gives a fuck apparently she bought China China bought her a car I don't know what kind of car it is but they disabled the car to where she can't drive it and it's sitting in the driveway so whatever the fuck whatever kind of car it is she said it was a $40,000 car I, I, I noticed a lot of comparisons a lot of I have it since you have it I'm entitled to what you have or I'm entitled to a piece of what you have j just because I'm your mother no matter what kind of mother you are she feels she does like China says have this personality of entitlement and a lot of parents that are that parent from a type of hierarchy parenting style Again, you know, I'm big, you're small, you're, you're, I'm smart, you're dumb, you're, you're the kid, I'm the adult, whatever I say, you got to respect me. It doesn't matter how I speak to you. It doesn't matter what I say to you. It doesn't matter how, how many names I call you. I'm your mother. And so you are supposed to respect me. You are going to, you're supposed to abandon your self-respect and your dignity in order to show me respect. Even if I'm spitting in your face even if I'm getting in your face, even if I'm violating your personal space, I'm your mother and I have that right. There are a lot of parents who believe like that, mothers and fathers who believe like that. And a lot of children who believe like, I don't have a choice, this is my mother, I can't, I have to deal with this. And that's a lie and I keep telling people that's such a lie, it's a lie that you do not have to, you know, subscribe to and you can unlearn that. And you know the, the 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 scene with treasure and china talking about both of their mothers as you can see this is a sicilic thing right both of them have issues with her mother and then i noticed tokyo mentioned what did your grandmother do to you for you so i i'm assuming she's talking about her mother and it seemed that kind of seemed like a little bit of like kind of like animosity like kind of anger towards that so maybe tokyo has issues with her mother too so we see this as a cycle going on um two women in pain i wrote i no, no one wants to be alone and it's sad that children adult children of toxic parents feel like 
I don't want to be alone, so I'm going to endure this abuse that I that is being afflicted upon me, whether it's physical, verbal, whatever it is, emotional. It is sad. Um, but Treasure said she supports reconciliation with Tony and Tokyo Tony, whatever the fuck her name is. I don't know. So they get to Tony and she's she arrives to China's house. And I'm just these are the notes that I took. And, and I'm just listening to the things that she says. She refers to China as her millionaire daughter. Her millionaire daughter. If you have a daughter who's a millionaire, why shouldn't you be able to, you know, reap the the, bin, the fruits and, and, and eat from the fruit of the tree that she created with no help from you? You feel entitled just because you gave birth to her. Nothing else. That's your entitlement is that I'm the mother you're a millionaire. I should have a piece of this. I, I, and then she said, she should be helping me. Why am I sitting here? She's sitting there with China. What am I sitting here for? She comes in with an attitude. Um, you're making up and I, to me, I felt like she was making up. Um, I think the only way that Tony knows how to relate to China is through creating conflict. She does not know how to just exist. And it has to be some type of conflict because maybe that's you know what she learned on how to deal with your children is by creating conflict. You can't just get along with them. It has to be some type of argument or something that's happening. Um, she keeps telling China, what's your issue? China keeps saying, I don't have an issue. Well, both you're lying, China. You clearly have an issue with your mother. You clearly have an issue relating to your mother. And you clearly have issues not knowing how to resolve conflict when conflict arises between you and your mother. Because both of you, neither one of you, know how to talk and express yourself in a healthy way. Because it seems like Tony learned that from her mother, your grandmother. And it seems like you've learned how to communicate from your mother. So you com the style in which you communicate with her is not as toxic as hell. And it's really sad to watch. Um... I'm not about to lose what I have, China says. Why? I'm not about to lose what I have for you. You're in here. You come in here like you big and bad. She's very combative, very confrontational, very much the aggressor, I see. And then there's parts where China is like trying to hold her and hug her and her mother is like not reciproc not, not receptive to it. Um, and then she starts calling her disrespectful. Um... China says you were never there and I'm trying to be polite and you were never there for me and she's like what's your grandmother what does she buy you your grandmother so it seems like there's some issues with the grandmother and then China says that's why King and Dream are not here because they're not going to be able to see this and here's the thing your mother is not going to change anything so if you do if you sincerely do not want your children to um be threaded with that toxicity then you should keep them away from her. Like, you know, when you notice a pattern of behavior that the grandparent is now um, engaging with the grandchildren in a way, you gotta cut the grandchildren off from the grandparent. Yes, you want the grandparent to have their grandchildren, but if you notice patterns that you endured as a child and you notice the patterns are repeating themselves with your children, the only way that you're gonna be able to break that is to cut that thread that keeps intertwining into your life her mother you got to cut your mother off um it's unfortunate that she feels like she needs this woman it's clear that she doesn't actually need her she she needs to find a mother figure um outside of this woman this is not the right person to be your mother and i'm so, that's like sucks to say because she gave birth to her but you know, that's not the right. You need to find you another mom. You need to choose another mother. You have a choice and choose someone else to mother you. The way that Candace is choosing Karen to be her mother type figure. You understand what I'm saying? Just find a mother figure in someone else. And I know it's difficult. I've, I've found it difficult in some senses um, because, the you know, you just, I don't know. I just don't think that that is a... If you don't want your kids to see it, you're going to have to cut her off because she's not going to change. 
So her mother starts name calling. She called her a weirdo. She said she was bipolar. She said she had mental illness. She touches her hair. She's violating her, her space. I don't know what your mother, I don't care what your mother has done, she says in an interview. I don't care if she's tricked you out to 20 men or whatever, to an army of men or something. You're still supposed to respect your mother. That's a lie. That is just a lie. And that's not something that you have. You, that's a lie. It's a lie. There's no other way around it. It's not true. So anybody who has subscribed to the idea that your mother can do anything to you and you still have to respect her because that's your mother, that is a lie. Full stop. Um, you, you, why you stop my life and my money? So I like, there's this entitlement thing, like China is successful. So I, I need to reap the rewards from that. Even though you've done nothing for her, <laughs> you want to reap the rewards from that. She keeps comparing her things to what China has. So I don't know if her mother is kind of jealous. And so the jealousy in, in, in the jealousy intertwined with entitlement it's, it's really toxic. It, it's not. And then, you know, they always say about friends, and I, heard, and I heard Oprah Winfrey say this, you cannot be friends with anyone who envies your life. And that goes for your parents. Anybody, you cannot have a relationship with anyone who envies your life. It doesn't, it'll create a toxic environment. It'll create an energy of jealousy. It'll create an energy of competition. I know people have been in relationships with friends and you find out this friend is in competition with you and you didn't even know it, you understand? And you just can't, you can't have a healthy relationship with somebody who wants your life. And that's just what it is. Um, at one point she called her mother by her government name. I, I didn't catch it, but she called her a, a different name. She called her like a nickname and then she called her another name. And I was like, oh, that's Tokyo's name. And maybe she thought she'd call her by her real name and it'll kind of snap her out of this fucking fog that she's in. But that lady is far gone. And I wouldn't be surprised if she's addicted to some type of substance, but something's not right with that lady. And like, I don't think, I know that parents can be like overbearing and the way that she is, I know that some parents can be like that. But to me, I feel like it's some type of unbalanced, it's some type of imbalance there. It's not, it's not like, she's a short, a horse on a carousel. Like something's not right with Tony. Okay. She gets in China's face. You need a therapist. You need a therapist. And then she said, then China blows smoke, not in her face. And I, let me tell you one time my mother caught me with cigarettes and I was a young teen. I was a teenager. She caught me with cigarettes and I lied about it. I said that they were my friends or they were my friends, but they were the exact, I was so stupid because they were the exact same brand of cigarettes that my grandparents smoked, right? So I'm trying, you know, kids, you, we practice in things, we experiment with things, and I was experimenting, trying to figure out if I wanted to smoke, because my grandparents smoked, and whatever, you understand? So because I lied, my mother made me eat the cigarettes, and when she was making me eat the cigarettes, I spit the cigarettes, the tobacco, out of my mouth, naturally as a normal reaction to eating tobacco, um, you would naturally want to spit it out because it doesn't taste good with all the chemicals and everything else that's in cigarettes It doesn't taste good. So as I spit it out She yells and gets more upset and says why would you spit at me? So this and when and, and exactly when Tokyo did that I was like her mom is a fucking bitch because she did not blow cigarette smoke in her face. She blew it that way. And you're just looking for a way to have conflict with this girl and it's sick. It's really sad to watch. It's just really sad to fucking watch. Um, then she tells her, be a real woman and say what it is. Now, let me tell you something, Tokyo, a real woman would have slapped your fucking ass down to the goddamn ground and stomped your head into the fucking uh, countertop. Uh, no, you do not tell somebody to get in your face like a real woman. I understand what you're trying to say or whatever you're trying to provoke this girl, but a real woman would have knocked your bitch ass out. And that's just what it is. And that's period. 
And that's period. You swear you the shit. See, there's a lot of jealousy, a jealousy going on there. A lot of threat. She tells her to suck a dick. She's there getting into it. She says, suck a dick. China said, no, you suck a dick. And as you could see, her mother's behavior was like, oh no, bitch. I'm supposed to be able to talk to you any kind of way. You, if you turn around and say the exact same words to your mother that she just said to you, she gets angry because you've disrespected her now. You see how fucking, like, a, that's a mind fuck. That's a toxicity that you do not want to be embroiled in. That's, it's disgusting. I was like, this lady is fucking toxic. And I hope that China kind of, like unsubscribes or dismisses this notion that she has to deal with her mother just because she's her mother. You're going to have to find, you know, you do need therapy, but apparently Tokyo Tony has lost some type of endorsement because she says to her daughter, I don't care if she kills herself. And she's supposed to be on this kind of board for suicide prevention or something like that. And apparently she lost that relationship because of these comments <coughs> that she made good good you you your bitch ass you want to be reckless with your fucking mouth when you're talking to your daughter yes hit them pockets lose everything bitch lose it lose it this idea that you are obligated to take care of a person who did not clearly did not take care of you. No, no, no child leaves house at 16 years old. This is not the 19 goddamn 20s. No, no kid leave the house at 16 years old if there wasn't any issues at home. Fuck out of here. You're a piece of shit to me. You're evil. She's evil to me. And then she says something about her killing herself. This is going to be an interesting show. We're going to see. I don't know who this man is that's around Tokyo that she feels like he likes her. Any man that watches a woman treat her daughter like that is not a man. He's not a person. He's not a human. His soul needs to leave his body so his flesh can just fall to the ground. You do not deserve to be here, bruh. If you can sit up there and watch that, watch that woman treat her adult child the way that she's treating her and sit by and not say anything about it you're a piece of shit my nigga you're trash you're a fucking piece of shit piece of trash tokyo is a piece of shit trash she needs therapy outside she don't need to be in therapy with china at all you're not entitled to nothing lady nothing that girl has you didn't help her at all and no you don't get nothing just because you're somebody's mom that goes out the window when you stop acting like a mother. You, When you stop acting like a mother, you do not get treated as a mother. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these black ass parents and this idea. And, and you get away from that slavery mentality that when you're raising your children. Get the fuck away from that shit. I promise myself I'm going to stay calm. I'm not going to allow this show to trigger me, the relationship. So many people have issued daughter and mother-daughter relationship, father and son, um, son, uh, father and daughter, daughter and son, or whatever the fuck, people have these relationships, and I think a lot of people, this might be good to see this toxicity on film to be like, shit, my mom acts like this. This shit is crazy. Because if you're looking at Black China, you have any critique about the way the way her and her mother relate to each other, the way her and her mother resolve con or not resolve conflict, the way that they, the way that her mother speaks to her, and your parents speak to you in that way and you're looking at the tv thinking that shit is crazy your shit is crazy too you need to get the fuck up out of there you need to get your mind right you need to make a choice to take care of you you do not deserve any kind of treatment below your standards from anybody and your parents are included in that equation you do not deserve it if you wouldn't take it from a nigga or a bitch you're not gonna take it from your bitch ass mother and father don't do it that's all I got to say. Take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace.